Hello out to all you wonderful people. This is Andre the Game I Dig Guy. Thank you once again for lending your time and your ear and listening in to another gig vlog. It's been a good minute. And, you know, I've had time to think and reflect on a lot of things and go through a lot of things. And I'm realizing more and more things I need to do to get to where I need to go and I'm still on that path I'm still <laughs> trudging through that swampy water to get to that path that clear path and it's going to be one of those things I have to do probably for a little while but I, I really want to make this one more about things I've seen with other people I know people I've met recently and even some I've known for a long time and that's just because of how I hope that the wind is not tearing up the deck on a mic on this but <laughs> I've noticed that people myself included because I've done this quite a bit we're a lot more willing to look at others to blame and we don't want to look in the mirror and see who we actually are and there are two sides to every person there's the side of them that they want everyone to know. Then there's the side of them that they don't want anyone to know. And those things can be very different depending on the people. Those things can be drastically different depending on the people. For many of us, that person that we don't want people to know is someone highly negative. It's a person that we are ashamed to see when we look at ourselves. There's somebody that we don't want to be, but that person is there. They're inside of us. They're part of us. I know I've talked about this before and how I felt about things sometimes. But I realize that there are people that I know that are still in that mindset. They're still in that place where they don't even want to admit to themselves that that person that they are trying so hard to hide and not show anyone is there. But here's the thing that we all have to come to realize. And it's something I think I started on the brink of last year, but I didn't fully grasp it. That person can be you. You may not want to be that person, but they can still be you. You may not see yourself as that person, but they can still be you. Everyone has negative facets to themselves that they don't like. Everyone has faults. But the thing here is not to allow that to be who you become. Not to allow that to be the only part of you that people get to know. And I think honestly the more we try to hide that part of ourselves, the more likely it is to fight its way to the surface and be seen. The more that we try to deny that this being exists within us, the more likely that will be what people get to see of us. You don't have to fake being this pristine, untouched, unmarked, unmarred person. Everyone goes through different, different experiences in their lives. Everyone has their own pain. Everyone has their own suffering. Everyone deals with things very differently. But you don't have to coop yourself up 
as an individual, as a being, as a person, to tell someone that this isn't me while that is the reflection that you see in the mirror. That individual looking back at you, you know that's not the way you fully are. That is a facet of yourself. It's one that you are focused on, even if you don't want to admit to it. And, and I've seen that in myself. I've seen that in many other people. And the best way to put that individual to rest is to admit it to yourself. The best way to put that negativity to rest is to admit to yourself that that's a part of you. And that that's a hard thing to do. I know it's a hard thing to do to do it's an extremely hard thing to do I know because I still struggle with the practice of it myself I'm doing better at it most of the time but sometimes I fall back into habits that will make it look like I'm doing something I'm not actually doing only to have to explain myself and to show that I'm not actually doing anything that is untoward for anyone. And to prove that, you know, yeah, I'm not in that mindset anymore. I'm not that guy anymore. That thing that I dislike is still a part of me. It's still there. And I have been trying to drown it with positivity and and good thoughts and things. But I still wasn't willing to admit that it's still in me. It's still there. It's still a part of me, even if I don't like it. It's still a part of how my life went. It's still a part of my past. It's still there. It's a smudge on my life. But that's all it has to be is a smudge. It can be an insignificant smudge in the corner of the portrait that makes up who you are and makes up your being as a person. It doesn't have to be something that outweighs everything else on that page. And I think, if, honestly, if more of us admitted that to ourselves, we wouldn't have the problems that we have. We'd be able to deal with things quite honestly just a lot easier because when we are that person on the inside and we feel someone else is we project that onto them whether it's true or not has nothing to do with the way that we treat the situation we project that onto that person we project that onto them that negativity because it takes it off of us, at least temporarily. And that happens, that happens a lot, to be honest. You don't know how many people I know that I've come to find out that that happened a lot to them. Actually, there was one friend like a few weeks ago told me that back in our teens, when I started talking to her, she was on the verge of suicide. She was on the verge of taking her own life because she was living a tortured life. I didn't know that. I had no idea. Like, and her, me talking to her, being someone outside of her situation that she could vent her frustrations to, and that kind of, you know, just looked out for her being as a person it kept her from taking her life now she's grown up she has kids i mean she still has her own personal issues and things that she's going through and i know for a fact that this is an extraordinarily good person but she's gone through some tough times like and the only reason i even know this is because she reached out to me a few weeks ago just to check up on me to see how i was doing And then, like, during the conversation, she kind of just, you know, brought it up because of how I was a positive influence for her, which I had no idea I was. 
Like, at the time, I just saw somebody who I had similar interests with was into, like, the weird stuff I was into, and it was cool to talk to her. But I also, and I also kind of looked out for her, like, like, talked to her like she was, like, my the younger sister. That's kind of how I treated her. But me doing that without knowing, like, I'm happy that 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 is the case because just say I didn't get I didn't talk to her though or start a conversation with her the day I started talking to her she wouldn't she probably wouldn't be here and that's the same thing I look towards my friends and family members when there were times where I was down below the surface of the earth <laughs> And, and I just felt like I was falling into a place I couldn't control getting out of. They helped me. And that's what I see looking into the mirror. I see all of that history of myself, of the things that I did that I'm not so proud of. But then I can look back at also things like that where it's like... You helped this person and you didn't even know that you were helping. And all you did was just be yourself and just try to be a positive influence for someone. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter what you were doing as long as you just, you know, you gave them that positivity. And sometimes that's all it takes is just a little bit of positivity and it can flip things for you. So for me looking in that mirror like yeah there was a tarnished image but it's a little bit brighter knowing that I helped somebody else and a bit of that tarnish is taken off and that's why I have started doing the things I'm doing now but yeah there are times where I fall backwards and I do something that I wish I hadn't done But you're not always going to make the best choice. <clears throat> as much as you might try, you're not always going to make the best choice. And, I, and I'm realizing that. I'm seeing that more and more. Like, even though I go into things mentally trying to be the best I can, sometimes I'm not. And I can wish that I didn't do a certain thing, but... It's the nature of the beast. You can't go back in time. Once you've committed yourself to something, you've committed to it. At that point, you just got to deal with what comes afterwards and try to be better the next time around. Which was something that was extremely easy for me at one point, and then I fell backwards. It became difficult. So now I'm trying to make it the easy thing again. And it is becoming easier and easier as time passes. But I, I, I guess the real point of this is to you need to look at yourself and admit to yourself who you are. Whether in that moment, if you're in that, in that moment, you are a person you don't like, you can change that. You can do things to get the tarnish off your image. You can do things to remove that smudge from your painting. I know these are weird metaphors, but somebody has to understand them. You can do what you need to do to get rid of that negativity. If you want to be a different person, you want to be better than you were the day before, you have to commit yourself to it. And sometimes, I know it might sound odd, but maybe taking that moment to yourself where you are alone, you can be with your thoughts, where you can clear your head of things and you can push out a lot of the crap that's in your mind. It helps. Sometimes you need that moment to yourself. Sometimes you need to be a little bit selfish as a person about your own caretaking to be able to accomplish the positive things that you want to do. Me, uh, I've always said it, I enjoy helping people. But I have to do things for me 
to get myself in the position that I need to be in in order to be able to help anyone else. And that's kind of what I, I really want to do. I do want to find something that I can dedicate my time and my energy to that would be a positive thing that I can do, that I can be proud of, that I can share with my kids and share with my family members and my friends and say, this is what I'm working on. This is the thing that I'm creating or helping build up. These are the things that I'm endorsing. These are the things that fulfill me as a person. And, I, and like, and it sounds selfish, but I have to put time into me just as a person to be able to take care of those things, to be able to do those things, to fix my image in the mirror. It can't be all selflessness, but it can't all be selfish either. It had, there has to be a balance. There has to be some give and take. And you can't just... You can't project your negative feelings onto someone else to try to get rid of them. This is never going to work. They're always going to plague you if you attempt to do that. But I think I'm done with this for today. So keep your eyes and ears up for more stuff from me. And until the next time, enjoy your life. Peace out.